what we expected for a few years now finally comes to fruition here today. Carmelo Anthony signs with the Los Angeles Lakers, and I'm guessing it's for the minimum or maybe the mid-level here. So the Lakers making their fifth veteran signing of the early offseason here in day two. They got Wayne Ellington, Trevor Ariza, Dwight Howard, and now they get Carmelo Anthony, and obviously Kent Bazemore as well yesterday. So Carmelo Anthony supposedly was down to the New York Knicks or the Lakers, and obviously he wants to win a championship, and this is things I've been talking about about Carmelo in the past, but now he finally lands with the Lakers three years after hearing about the rumors, and last season with Portland, another good season it was for Melo, 13.4 points a game, 3.1 rebounds, one and a half assists, two threes a game, 89% from the foul line, and 42% from the field, so Melo, he revitalized his career in Portland as more of a catch and shoot Play. And this is the type of role he's going to have here with the Lakers. So obviously, Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis, and obviously LeBron James here. So LeBron and Melo, best friends. And the two big names in that draft were Dwayne Wade in the 2004 NBA draft. And these guys finally team up 17 years later here. And this Laker team, a lot of veterans on this roster. I don't think they have more than two guys younger than 30 years old here. So this Laker team... They're building with all veterans, and we'll see if it works for them this season. But Carmelo Anthony, I think out of all the veterans they signed, him and Dwight Howard are obviously the two better guys they've gotten so far out of the five signings in free agency. And things, the way they're looking right now, he might be the starter for this Laker team at either small forward or powered forward, depending where him and LeBron James is going to play here. So right here, Carmelo Anthony... He fits this Lakers system pretty well since he changed his game up. He's not really that much of an ISO guy. More of a catch and shoot and a quick one dribble and pop mid-range shooter as well like he always been. So Anthony to the Lakers, it finally happens after two or three seasons hearing about this rumor. And it makes sense. He's up there in age at 35, 36 years old. And he wants to get one of these rings and help his friend LeBron James get his fifth ring here. And as far as fantasy basketball goes, Melo, I think he's a player that definitely has value. And a guy that you should draft in your fantasy leagues, probably the 10th or 12th round in the later rounds of your draft. I definitely could see him starting or at least playing 25, 30 minutes a game for this Laker team. Because I don't know who else they're going to go out there and really sign that could have more of an impact than Carmelo Anthony at this time right here. So Carmelo Anthony finally signs with the Lakers after seasons hearing about it. And we'll see if he could win his first championship in the upcoming 2021-22 season with his best friend LeBron James and the Lakers.